This could be useful. Maybe. I can do better now. Quite intriguing. Thank you. That was pretty good, huh? That was pretty... <laughs> Looks like I got it right. You really think I'm that great? I'll keep trying my best. I can't believe I got it right. No, I just got lucky. I'll keep trying my best. I think I've got the hang of it. Just as I've always expected. No matter how old one gets, it's always nice to hear, job well done. That was rather productive. That was... That was... I've grown a bunch. I got it? Nice! I knew I could get it. This isn't so hard. Aw, oh, thanks, Professor. That's real nice of you to say. I got it? Nice! I knew I could get it. I got it? Wasn't so bad. Hmm. Yeah, I've got this down. Step before the next step.
impressive as ever. It's always satisfying to see such skill in motion. It's nothing to boast about, just part of the job. Sure, but I hear there isn't a knight out there who can match your skill at reconnaissance and infiltration missions. Don't forget assassination and coercion. Is there someone you need killed? Ooh, so violent. Why would you jump to that conclusion? You went out of your way to find me. I thought you might need a favor. It's sorry to disappoint, but I didn't come to request an assassination. I just want to talk. With me? Of course. You've piqued my interest for a while now. A little birdie told me you were born in Dagda. Is that true? That's pretty far away, beyond even Bridget to the west. So, what brought you to Fodlan? I worked as a mercenary in Dagda. That is, until I was defeated in battle against the Empire and left for dead. I see. I'm surprised they didn't take you as their prisoner. I know how to conceal myself. Yeah, of course you do. Still, with your particular skill set, couldn't you make your way back to Dagda whenever you please? That is true. I could return if I really wanted. But Rhea took me in, and I owe her a debt. I also don't hate it here. For now, this is where I belong. Where you belong, huh? That's heavy stuff. I wonder if this is where I really belong. I wouldn't know. You need to figure that out yourself. Hey there, Petra. Claude? Where are you? Where else? Wait, I'll meet you down there. Claude! I thought you were not able to climb the trees. True, and that is exactly why I worked like a madman to devise a new climbing technique. I have much admiration for that. To climb is a skill with value. Well, what can I say? I just... Okay, so I may have cheated a little. By using my bow to shoot a rope over a branch, or a few branches, or all of the branches. But once I got up there and hauled up the ropes, it was the same result as if I'd climbed it your way. I am understanding. That costs more time, though, so it is not the best thing for hunting. But you are not harming the tree, so that is... an advantage. I am liking this technique. You're right. I didn't harm the tree at all. I'm surprised that impressed you. The tree has a spirit. If you hurt the tree, you will give its spirit anger. I see. I take it the people of Bridget have a close relationship with nature, then? Trees give us food and also shelter. We are needing them, and they are needing us. True. The people of Fodlin believe everything is a blessing from the goddess. They've forgotten to be grateful to nature, too. Nature gives us life, sustains us. Without it, we couldn't breathe, couldn't live. It's everything. It's fine to pray to the goddess, but we have to respect nature, too. Don't you think? Yes. I do not know this goddess, but I know nature. That is the knowing I prefer to have. You and me both. Petra, how are you doing? Getting used to life here? I am settled. Everyone shows great kindness. I'm glad to hear it. I was so surprised when you first arrived. A princess all the way from Bridget. You have my gratitude. But please do not call me princess. You are making my cheeks blush. There's nothing to blush about. You're every little girl's dream of what a princess should be. Anyhow, I suppose it's been a long time since you've been back to Bridget, hasn't it? I hope you aren't homesick. Maybe we can cook one of your favorite dishes from back home. I do wish for that. But there is no possibility. The ingredients are not found here. I suppose you're right. That's probably why they don't cook the food of Bridget in the dining hall. I'm sorry. I just got to thinking about how hard it must be to live somewhere so far away from home and... No. It can't be impossible. I'll fix you a real meal of Bridget. I'll just find a recipe and similar ingredients. Wait, Dorothea. It is the thinking that counts. But your cooking is... What is the word? 
Horrendous. That is what everyone is saying, anyway. Horrendous? Nobody's cooking can be that bad. The thinking is enough for me. You have my biggest gratitude. Fine, I'll do something instead of cooking for you. I just want to be sure that you feel at home here. How about a massage? That may help you loosen up. I have no problems. My body is already able to relax. Oh? Then perhaps I could sing you lullabies to help you sleep. I'm not having sleeping trouble. Just know that you never have to worry about putting me out. I like helping my friends. Well then, I must be going, but remember my offer. Dorothea is filling my heart full. What's wrong with you? Uh, uh, Sh -Sh Shamir! <laughs> How long have you been there? Too long. You're blocking my way. W wait! There's something I wanted to ask you! Ask? I... Just make it quick. Well, you see, whenever I go into battle, the enemy seems to find me right away. I'm an easy target. But, I want to be able to move around the battlefield without being noticed, like you do. So what do you think? Would it be possible? Do you think you're being noticed because of your size? <laughs> of course! I'm pretty hard to miss, you know. I thought that was obvious. Wrong. It's not your size, it's your presence. It's strong, almost unbearably so. My presence? Is that something I can change? With practice. Maybe. Let me ask you, have you ever felt my presence? Now that I think about it, I haven't. That must be why I didn't notice you earlier. But how can I do that? Will you teach me? Please? Please? <sighs> Fine. There's a breathing technique that masks your presence. When you breathe, are you continuously inhaling then exhaling? Well, of course. That's the best way I know how. I'd explode if I only breathed in. Right. To minimize your presence, breathe in, then out, then out again. In through the nose, then gently out through the mouth, twice. In, out, out. That's it? I could definitely do that. <sighs> I couldn't do it, Shamir! <laughs> Breathe less. Keep it to the absolute minimum. <coughs> I, I don't know the minimum. It'll take some practice. <sighs> sure, sure. I'll keep trying. In, out, out is trickier than it sounds. Shamir, you are training away from the ground of training. Ah, Petra. Well, it looks like it might rain. I have understanding. Rain training can cause unhealthiness. Can I give you a question now? Sure. You come from Dagda, I think. Why are you working at the monastery? You can tell I'm from Dagda? Oh, I suppose Bridget is our neighbor. As for why I work here, that's simple. I work to live. Rhea took me in when I had nowhere else to go. I'm here to repay my debt. I don't plan to return to Dagda anytime soon. But Fodlin is an enemy for you, right? Are you feeling okay about that? The only ones I've fought in person are the Imperial Army. I carry no ill will toward anyone else. I have gratitude for your answering. You have given me understanding. How about you? Do you hate them? The Empire is your father's enemy, no? And it's Dagda's fault that Bridget got pulled into the war at all. So, do you hate Dagda? Or do you see that as none of your concern? The fault is not of Dagda. My father made his own choice to be joining the war. I cannot say I have no hatred for the Empire, but I do not have any for Edelgard. When I came here, she was always helping me. Makes sense. You can hate a country without hating its people. You speak with such honesty. 
It is very amazing. I'm not that special. I just don't let emotions get in my way. 